fue en la vida real. Como esta niña murió, puede ser tú, puedo ser yo o cualquiera de nosotros. Racionemos. Hace dos años hubo una perdición. Me quitaron la vida a una niña sin razón. Puede pasar aquí un mini presin de huevo. Volvemos las armas y entremos en razón. Damn, it's quiet tonight. Well, you know what it says, it's quiet before the storm. I guess. Wait, he look like he on his cell phone, man. Well, you acting like he see us? Let's check into this end. Habla de Mobe. Oye, yo te dije que vamos en camino, manito. But hey, you ain't gonna believe my boy get up in here, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna show you when we get there. All right, I'm gonna show you when we get there. Don't even worry. Oh, sh hold on, hold on. I'm gonna call you back later. I'm gonna call you back later. I don't need this, man. I don't need this. I don't need this. I'm gonna pull over. I'm pull over. Hey, hey, the man. You want more body say, the man? You mean we're bothered about that, man? Just hide it, man. Put away, put away. We cool, we cool, we cool. 105, let me have a registration check and a vehicle stop in a TDS 375, Charlotte Mali High School, two occupants. Good night, Good. Yo! Put your hands up. Oh. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your Give me another hand behind your back. Place your other hand behind your back. Give me another hand. Roll over. Shut up. Come on, man. Already, my boy gonna be out there soon. That's exactly the point, dude. You've been through all this, not me. I got life. Look, no, look, no. If you ain't on your phone, right, bargain to your boy, then you leave me be there, my boy. Are you serious? Yeah, because I was on the phone. Yeah, dude, you had a gun, Sharad. A gun, a gun, man. Mr. Mendoza, come, you're free to go. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. No, no, not you, sir, not you. You sit back, sit back, sit back. Not you, all right? What? You can be in there. See you. Hey, well, let me get my phone, man. Ms. James, will the territory be seeking bail at this time? Yes, Your Honor. The people were asking for $15,000 bail. The complaint alleges that Defendant Roberts was pulled over in a routine traffic stop when officers observed him attempting to conceal a shiny object. They found him to be an unlawful possession of an unlicensed firearm, which has since been positively linked to several violent crimes in the territory. Your Honor, at this point, the people request the court order the defendant to post a bond in the amount of $15,000 in combination with assurances for the safety of the community and Defendant Roberts' appearances at future court proceedings. This bond is appropriate based on the allegations, the fact that the defendant is facing a mandatory minimum 15 years based on his prior criminal history and the criminal implications connected to the weapon. Mr. Jennings, what do you have to say? Your Honor, the defendant is 22 years old and a productive member of the community. 
He just started a new job to provide for his four-year-old son, Shamoy, and his girlfriend. Clearly, Mr. Roberts is a victim of unfortunate circumstances. We request lower bail and a bracelet. I'm looking at three priors, two involved drug possession, and one is robbery. And the history behind this firearm runs deep. I think $15,000 is more than a fair bail based on the allegations. Is your client going to request a speedy trial? And are you going to be able to post bail? He won't be able to post bail at this time. We request a speedy trial. You are wasting time. The question again, what did you expect to do with that gun once you took it out? Don't never, ever, ever pull on this tool if you're going to use it. You realize I'm trying to work with you? You realize what you're facing? Let's get back to the basic question. Where did you get this gun from? Tell anybody where you get this gun from? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to make it easy for you. You give me what I want, you get some of what you want. So that's it. You're going to just throw away your life for some asshole? Look, he has nothing to say. Wrong move, counselor. Wrong move. Good afternoon. I'm U.S. Marshal Rod James. I have a federal response for Mr. Rod Roberts. U.S. Attorney's Office. Good afternoon. But, um, this is Assistant Attorney General. Room? Our defendant, Sherrod Robert, was picked up with a firearm during a routine traffic stop. With his extensive criminal history, he's looking at 15 years minimum on a territorial charge because he's a convicted felon. What is he looking at on the federal side? Well, based on his criminal history, he's looking at 15 years minimum mandatory in district court also. However, his conviction in a federal penitentiary away from the Virgin Islands and away from his family and friends should give him something to think about. Then take it to district court. Okay, we'll have the criminal complaint ready by this afternoon and ask the district court magistrate judge to issue an arrest warrant for the federal firearms violation.